All right, so now we're moving on to the thoracic region of the vertebral column. First thing you'll notice is that the body is bigger than that of the cervical region, and uh, it's got a different shape. It's a little bit more oval shape now. Right? The vertebral foramen is getting a little bit bigger. Its shape has also changed. We've still got some of the same basic features that we talked about in cervical region. So between body and transverse process, is the pedicle between transverse process and spinous process, lamina, and then as we move from pedicle all the way to lamina and spinous process and back, this whole area is our vertebral arch now. The thoracic region um, is going to have a little bit more inferiorly pointing spinous processes. And it's the only region of the vertebral column that's going to articulate with ribs. So we get some special characteristics, which we'll get to in just a minute. Still, those uh, vertebrae need to articulate with each other. So this is T1. It's got superior articular processes and, and facets on those processes, or smoothed parts, to articulate with the inferior articular facets of C7, which would sit above this. And then from the inferior view, we're going to have inferior articular processes. It's kind of bridge-like process. And the smooth part, inferior articular facet, which would then articulate with T2. Okay. Again, you can see a little arch-like shape here. So T1 plus T2, we're going to have a spinal nerve that ends up coming out through that intervertebral foramen. All right, now let's get to talking about those special features for ribs. So first thing to notice is that the head of the rib is going to articulate with the body of the vertebrae. So this being T1 is a full facet, full costal facet. Um, just at the inferior side of the body is another half of a facet. So rib number one the whole head of the rib is going to sit here on the body of T1. Rib number two, the upper part of that rib's head articulates with this inferior demi facet. And then also, T1 through T10 are going to have transverse costal facets. So this is where the, the tubercle of the rib is going to articulate with the transverse process. You see how that facet is a little bit smoothed out there. Okay. All right, so we'll show you the whole thoracic region now. And we can see how a rib would come in the head of the rib right here, would articulate with, say, a, an inferior demi facet and a superior demi facet, and then it would come across and it would touch the transverse costal facet like this. So that's how a rib would articulate in these cases. Okay, okay and then just to mention, uh, superior and inferior demi facets are present on T1 through T9 and not T10 through T12. Full facets are present on T1, T10, T11, and T12, not on the rest. And those transverse costal facets for the tubercle of a rib are present on T1 through T10, not T11 and T12.